Welcome back. This video, I will review the boost converter schematic I just made based on a reference design from Texas Instruments. Thank you so much, Texas Instruments, by the way, for providing these amazing designs. Like, it's really awesome, super convenient, and I always recommend using reference designs. The engineers have done the work for you. Well, most of the work you have to do, you have to fill in the gaps. All right, so let's review the circuit. Starting from left to right, we're going to go straight from left to right. So RC is going into CC, 20, 22 nanofarads. RC is 4.7K. Yes, 22 nanofarads compensation. Yes. All right. Feedback is 20K RF2. Let's make sure of that. Good. And yeah, our wire is connected properly in the feedback loop. Just some notes or comments here. This wire in P Spice, if you drag this and like, let's say to the left or something, you could run the risk uh, when you drag it or when you're drawing the wire, you could run the risk of connecting it to, if you zoom in here, to this pin. This pin or all pins in P Spice are by default uh, signified as a red color. So you want to make sure this wire does not touch that pin when you're making that wire or else it will connect. You'll know it will connect when you are drawing a wire and you see that dot, that exclamation point. You don't want that. If you see that, hit escape on your keyboard, start over, wire somewhere else. Okay. CSN is 10 nanofarads. Let's see. Which is the same as 0 0.01 microfarads. RSN is 0 0.025 ohms. And L1 is 10 microfarads, CN is correct, 100 microfarads. Okay, RF1, C out, 1, C out, 2. Okay, and we'll make sure this wire is hanging off, just like how they have in the reference schematic. Hit W on your keyboard to add a wire that extends out here as well. Okay, I think that is it for the schematic. Let's do a bit of cleanup here and make some additions like net aliases. So a net alias is a name you give to a node on here. By default, there are these names called um, just arbitrarily given by the software. Well, it's not very arbitrary, but uh, it's not difficult. Uh, it's not easy to remember the names of these nodes, right? So let's go with easier names. Um, so you select place net alias or N on your keyboard for short, then choose something like VN. Hit OK on, on the screen or enter on your keyboard and make sure your mouse pointer touches the node so you can see that. So we have VN on this here, on this wire at the top. I'm going to put a VN on this wire close to the VN pin as well. Let's see, where else can we put a net alias? V out is another place to put a net alias. But before placing it on a wire, you will right click and choose edit properties and then hit V out and place it there. Now let's say you wanted to just place net aliases wherever and you can just place it here or here. You don't have to always right click and edit before you place the uh, net alias. I delete this before I forget. You can actually place in that alias and then double click on the name and then change it. So you can name this comp just like the pin has. And there you go. Hit enter on your keyboard to place some more aliases. I'm going to place FB for feedback for this net. A ground, you know, I'm just going to leave it as zero. That's fine. I send. Yeah, I'll right click, edit properties, and change this to I send for this net name. I'll place this right here. Okay, so it got attached to that net, but it's a little mushed. So you can click and drag this wire to the left. As I'm showing you how to place nets and everything, these are just little things you can learn how to do in Orchid Capture just to make your life easier or in case you didn't know you could do these things. You don't have to delete a bunch of things and redraw them. You can actually modify them, um, move them around. 
Okay, let's see what else we can do here. We can place a net alias here. Again, that's N on your keyboard. So let's see, DR. Click OK. Place that right there. Oh, what else can we add a net alias to? Let's see. Let's see. I send is already there. But you know what? Why 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 the heck not? Let's right click edit properties and put her. The same name here too anyway. Right? There we go. That's good. Drag this a little to the left. Yeah. Yeah, that looks fine to me. What else do we have? FB. I'm going to double click on here and then copy by hitting Control C on the keyboard or you can right click, choose copy, click OK. Why am I doing that? Because I'm going to place another net alias with the same name FB on this node. And let's see if this will actually work. Hit N on your keyboard. I send shows up. That's the most recently placed net alias. But instead of that, I'll hit Control V on the keyboard and paste FB on there. Click OK. Let's see if this will connect to the. Oh, look at that. Yeah, connect it right click and end mode. Good job. Good job. Okay. I think this is it. The circuit is done. Well, let's make sure. Right click, save. In the next video, I'll show you how to do a design rule check to verify that your circuit is actually doing what it needs to do electrically. Like if it's properly electrically connected. Okay.